Good morning. Today, we are going to be learning about symmetry. The word symmetry, and let me write it down because it's kind of hard to, to say. Um, the word symmetry, S-Y-M-M, E-D-R-Y, I think is how you spell it. I may have misspelled it. Um, symmetry means that something is the same on one side, on the right side, as it is on the left side, if you were to cut it in half. So for instance, let me get this out of the way. This roll of tape, if I were divide, to divide it exactly in half, this side would look exactly like this side on um, this notepad the same thing if i were to divide it exactly in half this side is the same as this side and so they have symmetry and so today we're going to make a symmetrical drawing um, it's going to be a pickup truck when we get done these are some student examples this one was done very well. You can tell it's a pickup truck. Um, and she followed the directions very well because this side is exactly like this side. And then this student put some flowers in the back end of her truck and gave her a license plate. So she did some extra work on this. But again, this side is the exact copy of this side because we, we have a magic trick we're gonna do that's gonna transfer the side over. Another good example of symmetry. Same on this side as it is on this side, except he added some stuff in the, the bed of the truck at the end. Okay, so to get started, got something on my paper. You're gonna get a piece of paper, white paper. You're gonna fold it in half skinny ways or vertically. Some teachers like to call it hot dog, but where it's long and skinny. Then I like to do this one more time and fold it one more time because it helps my paper lay flat. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the, um, the truck. It's best to use a marker. I've got a permanent marker here. But if you guys don't have a permanent marker, but you just have a regular Crayola marker, that's fine too, okay? But the drawing part, we really need to do in a marker. Um, and then we're gonna add some crayon to it in a few minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw the bumper of our truck. You're gonna go out, around, and back over. So it kind of looks like a hot dog that has no end. We stop at the crease which is the middle of our paper. If I go too fast, remember you can always stop and pause the video so that you can do the art and then come back and, and catch up, okay? I'm gonna put the tire, it's got round, it's rounded at the bottom, not square. I'm gonna put the top of the side of the truck. We're gonna put the tailgate. And inside the tailgate is a rectangle because sometimes these old trucks had some decoration on them. Then we're gonna do a diagonal line. This is the side of the truck and we're doing it diagonal so it looks like our truck is going away from us. That is called perspective. We learned about perspective last year. It's the roof of the truck. We're gonna do a half of an oval to be the window in the truck. And then we're gonna give it a mirror. Okay, so now this is the finished picture. Now, some of my students wanted an empty truck bed, and so if you want 
um, an empty bed. You don't want to put flowers in it like this student. She put flowers in hers. What we can do is come back into our drawing and we can draw a line that's supposed to be right about here. And then this little thing is like the corner of the truck. And then we come up and that's like the side. So now it looks like we can look in and see the inside of the, the tail of the truck, okay? So now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm putting my marker away, put the cap back on it. I'm gonna take a crayon, um, a blue or a purple, a dark blue like this, a purple um, or a black will work pretty well. Um, what you're gonna do is every single line you just drew in the, the, in the marker, we're gonna go over with the crayon and you're gonna do it pretty thick. Push, don't push so hard you're gonna break your crayon, but really kind of push hard to get stuff in the right places, okay? Because we're gonna need this crayon to do some work for us in a minute. So come over and do all of your lines. Thankfully, it's not a very difficult drawing, so we're able to do this quickly. Okay, I'll put this one a little bit thicker because I don't think I pushed as hard as I needed to. Right. Okay, so I've gone over all my lines. I'm gonna sit the, the um, crayon down. And the next thing I'm gonna do is fold my paper back over. Now, if you push really hard like this, you can see the black lines through here. It may not be showing up in the camera, but I can see the picture I just drew um, through the paper. I'm gonna turn it over, and since I used a Sharpie, you can see it for real easy now where these lines are. I'm gonna take a coin, and kind of like you're rubbing a scratch-off ticket from the lottery, I'm gonna take this and rub on all of these black lines, like I'm trying to scratch off the stuff off of a scratch-off ticket. And you're gonna do that all the way up. Every line. And you can hear how hard I'm pushing. All right, so I hope I've got it all pretty well. When you've got that done, you're gonna open this back up. And hopefully you can see this um, the lines from the crayon transferred over to my paper here. Some of it's missing a little smidge, but we can pretty much see where every line is supposed to go. So it's like we copied it. And so then you're gonna get your marker, and this is the exact duplicate of what's over here. And you're gonna take your marker and go over those lines so that we are seeing the exact duplicate. And I'm gonna take my time to be neat, make certain I'm on these lines. Almost there.
All right. So this is the exact copy of that one. And now I can come in and decorate it. Like I want to add a couple of tail lights. They can go red when you put your brakes on. Okay. And then if I wanted to add flowers in here, I could draw some flowers. If you just wanted to make it look like a truck bed, you could come in. Most trucks kind of have some um, stripes like this in the bottom of the, the tail. So you could put that all the way across. And it looks like a, it looks like a pickup truck. Color your truck. Give it, um, make it look like it's someplace. Like this student put it on a road. And then it's growing into the, the nighttime. Um, so that would be really good. Take a picture of it. Send it back to me. Hope you guys have fun with this. And we learned about symmetry.